welcome. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video to show you some stretches into the piriformis uh, muscle and into the area that we get quite tight um, if we're running or doing lots of exercises when we're taking a lot of flexion into the hips and we're getting quite tight into this area down to the glutes and um, potentially all the way down into the leg. So I'm going to show you some stretches uh, with a band. You can do these uh, without the band with your hands or just roll up a towel potentially and a couple without the band there as well. So the first lot we're going to do, we're going to come and lie down um, onto our backs and we're going to take the band or the towel and pop it around our foot here. We're going to um, keep the other leg bent here if we can first of all. We're going to stretch up. So always try and make sure you've got a straight knee. It's better to um, have your leg lower and straight than bent and higher up towards your head here. So this is just a nice stretch into the hamstring, back of the leg. Okay, so you can bend the knee in and stretch up here. Have the band, holding the band quite low down, relaxing into the shoulders. You can lengthen the other leg away from you as well. So you're bending and stretching. So the big stretch into the hips, which is quite nice, down into this muscle here. You're going to take the band and you're going to take it into the opposite hand to leg and have the other hand just down to the floor here. And we're going to take the leg in a nice straight fashion, so try not to make sure it's bent. So lengthen the leg if you need to lower it, that's fine. You can take it across the body here. And you're going to find the point where you kind of go, ow, and you can feel that really deep down into this leg here, into this area. Now take it across and you're going to breathe into that stretch and hold for about 20 to 30 seconds and just really hold it there let the band take the weight of the leg that is why it is there okay so you can do this with your hands but with the band you're taking the weight there and then you're going to take the band and take your hands and really pull use the weight of the um, use the band to kind of carry the weight of the leg and then you're going to stretch it out the other side as much as you can, try to not roll into the, into the hips, but you need to get a nice stretch into the inside of the leg here, okay? Which is just quite nice to counteract that stretch. And again, take the band and take the leg across the body, okay? So you'll be able to feel that. I mean, you might not be very far, depending on how tight you are, but it's just a lovely stretch to do. I call it the ouch stretch, <laughs> but it's really good. So breathe into that area there and bend the knee to come back in and then obviously take it on the other side and just notice for yourself <clears throat> if you're feeling much tighter into um, the other leg which you might be so just take some bends and some stretches there into the back of that leg okay and just take a few of those there whoopsies and then take the band into the opposite hand take the leg uh, of the other hand down and take the leg across the body and just really find that stretch. Such a good stretch to do. Relax the shoulders as we're doing this stretch as well and breathe into that area of tightness. So you could do this exercise at the end of a run or just uh, find some time in your week. If you can tag it on to the end of a workout then that's great but if you're uh, strapped for time then just try and add this in at some point in your day. It just takes five minutes to stretch, opening up the hips and taking that leg across. And you will notice a big difference if you look after uh, the conditioning of your body, complementing your other exercises that you are doing. So that's a nice stretch to do with the band. Um, with, without the band, sorry, if I stay on my back here, then the quite classical one here is to take your leg across and push that knee away and that might just get a stretch there if you need a bigger stretch then take the leg up and pull that leg towards you and push the knee away okay and you should find a stretch there as well but you probably find you'll get a deeper stretch doing the stretch with the band okay and again so you're pushing that knee away and pulling that knee in here this is just a nice kind of classical piriformis stretch. So you can do it lying down. You can also do it um, standing up and you can even do it sitting down if you can 
get your leg crossed here and you can just kind of move your body in and find that stretch there as well. So there's quite a few different ways to find that stretch, to find that intensity of that stretch there. And again, holding it here. So depending where you are, um, if you do have a band, if you don't have a band, and you kind of push yourself forward to find that stretch there, okay? And then the last one we're going to do, so I'm just taking you through these quite quickly, is sitting and we kind of call it a pigeon stretch, but this might be quite hard to do if you're really tight in the hips here. So your shin is, is parallel to the front of the mat, your other leg is just out behind you. And then you're going to slowly walk your hands forward. And it might be that you just get to here and you can really feel that stretch. Or can you come all the way down over the top of that leg there and breathe and hold that stretch. Okay, and again, all stretching into that area. Each of these stretches you might feel a different intensity or a slightly different um, different stretch in a, in a slightly different muscle area. So the shin has to be parallel. Don't have the heel too close to you. Push it up and slowly walk forward here and then taking that weight over and breathe there. Each stretch, try to hold about 20 to 30 seconds. Try to do each thing about two, maybe three times, okay? So just a really quick snapshot of piriformis stretches. As I said, try and add them into the end of your workout or just try and put them into your week, maybe three times a week. And do those exercises, choose either all of them or just a couple of them um, with the band, without the band, and just holding for 20 to 30 seconds and then doing them two to three repetitions of each. Um, so hopefully you'll find some of that um, helpful. Good luck.